at the end of the earth, there exists a country that is said to be the most prosperous in the world. Everything that you would ever need exists here. In addition, the opportunity to possess everything here is given equally to its people. In this country, there is a ranking system based on the people's education. The higher your education level, the higher your social status will be. With that being the case, there is no such thing as a weeboo or enjoying youth. People can only plunge into studying. People who are born with a high IQ are called learning types or L-type students. On the other hand, experts in using cheating skills such as an artificial skin containing all the answers necessary for the exam is only 0.2 millimeters thick. Contact lenses that transmit images to the retinas and can translate every single language in an instant. Those who take on the exam by gambling with their own bodies are known as cheating type or C-type students. Many parents have gone to the extreme by turning their kids into cheating machines. They do it all for the national special level university exam. Years later, one girl and one boy are teaming up to take on this test. The boy's name is Sokatsu Mume and the girl's name is Okoi. They are taking this test to save Mume's father, who was wrongly imprisoned. In order to do that, Mume needed to defeat hundreds of SS level cheaters. Mume and Koi quickly enter the level 1 test, where we are first introduced to some methods of cheating. One student hides a camera drone inside his pen. Another is using a ruler to reflect the answers. This afro guy is using a ping pong ball to copy all the answers in the room. Everything is going well when suddenly, most of the cheats were destroyed. This was the anti-cheat system of the room, but it missed the drone. It was about to copy Koi's answers when a paper whip destroys it. It was Mume. He is using the Sokatsu technique, a long lost technique that uses paper as a weapon. Mume then scrapes off some graphite from his pencil, then blows it lightly to discover the infrared triggers. But this is just child's play for Mume. He uses the Sokatsu technique Shinra Bansho to destroy all the infrared emitters in the exam room. With the anti-cheat system deactivated, the answers are complete. Koi signals to Mume. He uses his contact lenses which has the ability to enhance his vision and copies Koi's answers. The other students see that Mume is a formidable foe, so they decide to work together to attack Mume. The exam room then turns into a battlefield. Mume still exudes composure and looks down on them. The situation is getting tense when suddenly a voice rings out. It was the examiner, and he has had enough of these children's games. By the time they realize it, all of the students were all tied up due to the examiner's secret technique. The five boys try to attack the examiner together, but to no avail. Suddenly, Mume breaks free from the examiner's binding snake. Then he manipulates the traps in the exam room to attack the examiner. Not only that, but he also uses paper as a weapon and slashes at the examiner at lightning speed. But the old man dodges all of Mume's slashes. Time is running out and the examiner is sure of the student's demise. So he takes a sip of his wine gourd. But then the old man feels that something is wrong before falling to the ground. Turns out, Mume secretly sneaked a poison bug from a student named Jun into the examiner's gourd. Now he is paralyzed. Sadly, there is only one minute left for the test. However, that's not a problem for Mume. That much time is more than enough. Mume uses his Sokatsu technique, Chuto Dansui, a skill that slices through even the thinnest paper with the most extreme precision. Mume and Koi pass the entrance exam and officially become students of the National Special Level University. Mume then re-establishes their plan. First is that he needs to graduate from this university with the top grades. After that, he needs to pass the special exam to become the special level graduate. Then he will be able to save his father easily. While Mume is talking to Koi, he sees a girl that was so cute that he will have to change his current plan. He will flirt with this girl first and then rescue his father later. Later in class, their homeroom teacher isn't happy today from all the students' complaints, so the location for the test this time will be in an icy tundra, with the temperatures below minus 200 degrees Celsius. Though most students were frozen to ice, Mume isn't phased because he has a barrier that nullifies the cold air. Mume and Koi pass the test with ease. At mealtime, Koi makes a serious face to remind Mume of, of their main plan. Mume replies that he must rescue his father first, but he is then distracted by the cute girl from before. Her name is Haku. Haku thinks that Mume and Koi are in a close relationship, but Mume immediately denies it. Koi is feeling a bit ticked off. When Jun came and wanted to have lunch with them, he is then punched by Koi. 
But instead of being angry, he feels loved. At this time, the guidance counselor issues a notice asking Haku to come to his office immediately. With his more than 10 years of experience supervising tests, the counselor begins to analyze and decides that Haku's pen is definitely a cheating tool. If Haku refuses to admit it, he will destroy this pen right here. Seeing his crush in trouble, Mume appears in time to stop the counselor. He asserts that Haku would be the last student to cheat and that he and Haku are true L-type students. The counselor doesn't believe his words, so he gives Haku a test. If Haku doesn't pass with the maximum score, then Mume and Haku will both get outed from this university. The test begins, but Koi realizes that there is a problem with his test. The counselor changed the difficulty of the test from level 1 to level 5. With the current unfavorable situation, Mume and Haku will definitely be expelled. Mume doesn't accept this, so he gets into a fight with the counselor to retrieve Haku's pen so that she can take the test at peak condition. But when he got to the exam room, the test was already over. The counselor came crawling into the room, expecting Haku has failed the test. Mume is still very angry, so he kicks and stomps the counselor repeatedly. However, to the counselor's surprise, the test examiner, Teacher O, oh, announces Haku's test results, and she got a perfect score. The counselor can't believe his eyes, so he has to apologize to Haku. The next day, the test this time takes place on an airplane, and the examiner gives each student a pair of special glasses that they must wear in order to see the test papers. When the plane takes off, the test begins. All electronic devices are destroyed. To increase the difficulty of the test, the examiner blows up the roof of the plane, and any cheaters will be ejected from their seats. Mume was having trouble with his glasses being blown away by the wind. With no other choice, Mume uses the Sokasu technique, Furinkazan, a technique that can control any kind of wind and create windless conditions. Mume again easily passes the test. At lunchtime, Haku comes to thank Mume for his help the other day. Haku wants to return the favor, so Mume tells her that he really wants a pen like hers. So she invites him to go buy a pen with her on the weekend. Sunday comes, Haku takes Mume to a shop specializing in pens. As soon as he enters the store, the shop owner is attracted to Mume's beauty, causing Mume to feel scared. When Mume is taken to a private room, the shop owner introduces himself as Shu and asks Mume to engrave this name into his heart. Meanwhile, from above, Koei is eavesdropping on their conversation. She faintly hears words like of one body and soul making her blush and confused. It turns out this is just a ritual for choosing a pen. Shu then recommends a few pens to Mume. This one has special ink that can only be seen by this particular pair of glasses. These are a pair of high-tech pens. One can electronically transmit the letters written by an L-type student, then the other can reproduce the writing. However, Mume refuses all of his recommendations and instead chooses a normal pen that resembles Haku's, which he is very pleased with. During summer vacation, the teacher invites the class to a swimming pool. Everyone is happy and excited, thinking that they can have fun today, until they realize that this is actually a test. Everyone is then swept out to what they thought was the sea, but it was just the university's giant pool. After some swimsuit fan service, the test begins. Students look around, not seeing any examiners. They start to cheat. But one by one, the students are dragged into the water. It is at this point that Mume's team realizes that today's examiner is a shark which has its intelligence enhanced by an electronic brain, the shark examiner. The shark examiner and his comrades are constantly looking for cheating tools that students have hidden inside their swimwear. They then create a shark water sprout, sending sharks flying at the students. Seeing that Haku and Koi are in danger, Mume uses the Shinra Bansho technique to prevent the sharks from attacking them. The shark examiner recognizes Mume from its data. Being in the water for too long, the shark examiner's brain goes out of control and it starts talking about world domination. The sharks then use laser guns and leaps to attack Mume. Mume uses his paper barrier to stop them. Having enough of this nonsense, Mume uses a shokatsu technique, secret art, shippu doto. Violent winds and waves are caused by the user rotating their body at high speed. He successfully blows away the shark examiner. At the same time, Koi finishes her test and throws it to Mume so he can duplicate it. And so, Mume continues to pass his test. Meanwhile, there are two students who show great interest in Mume's potential. Many battles break out between Mume and Shu. These battles take place everywhere, and as a result, Mume is defeated. Because it was too humiliating, Mume temporarily left the university. 
After a month of searching, Koi finds Mume in a pub. She gives Mume a few words of encouragement, while also punching him a couple of times. After convincing him to come back to school, Koi takes him to an island, where his father is being held. When they arrive, they meet an old man holding a big cat. The old man leads them to a forest and leaves them there. They continue to go in deeper until they arrive at a tower. At the foot of the tower is a masked man. The masked man says that if Mume wants to save his father, he must use the ultimate Sokatsu technique to defeat him. Mume then uses four different skills all at once to attack the masked man, but the masked man just needs to wave his hand to nullify all of Mume's attacks. He then criticizes Mume, saying that his techniques are not as strong as the original Sokatsu techniques. Mume is now completely in despair. Koi is then captured. If Mume wants to save Koi, then he needs to climb 100 floors of this tower. At first, he thought the challenge would be terrible, but Mume easily took the elevator up to the 105th floor. The masked man is waiting for Mume with his legs shaking because he is afraid of heights, and so is Mume. After talking about how to master the Sokatsu technique and giving Mume a challenge to prove he has what it takes to be called a true user of the Sokatsu technique, the first challenge is on the 106th floor, which is a steam room. After finishing steaming, Mume continues on to the 107th floor. This time the test is to sort out incombustible and combustible objects. After completing two childish tests, Mume finally meets a real test. On the 108th floor, he meets a man dressed as a tree. Mume feels his body getting tired and falls to his knees. It turns out that this floor has a height of more than 600 meters, and the oxygen concentration is only 93%. In this condition, Mume can only fight with half of his true strength. The tree man tells Mume to control his breathing, even though the tree man himself is holding an oxygen tank in his hand. The tree man continues to laugh mockingly at Mume. Suddenly, Mume is able to control his breathing and successfully activates his new skill. Mume's attack carries the power of wind and fire, and he successfully defeats the tree man. Mume then continues on to the next floor. He is still marveling at his newfound powers when the masked man appears and challenges Mume to a duel. At first, Mume couldn't properly control the fire, but with the masked man's teaching to incorporate wind to amplify the fire. With that knowledge, Mume creates a new technique and successfully cuts the man's mask in half. Which at this point, Mume realizes that it was his father under the mask. After completing his training, Mume's father gives Mume a pen. It is a treasure of the Shokatsu family. Now with his new powers, Mume returned to the university to challenge Shu. The next test takes place on a waterfall. And only when the students answer all the questions correctly will the engines of the ski boat start up to save them. If they don't complete the test on time, they will fall from a height of 3,000 meters. But Mume and Shu ignore the test. They are standing in mid-air fighting each other. Mume uses paper to attack Shu. After trying for a while, one of Mume's paper planes manages to cut Shu's face. Shu then gets angry and destroys all of Mume's paper attacks. Their confrontation made the ground shake. Mume starts using the Sokatsu pen. Flames are generated from the friction between the pen and the paper. He attacks Shu using the Sokatsu technique, Kaka Gekihatsu, but Shu can easily block Mume's fire attack. This is when Mume realizes that Shu's real weapon is his red silk threads, which are harder than steel. Mume continues to manipulate the flames into the technique, Hoka Renten, to create tiny firebirds to attack Shu. This is a secret technique of the Sokatsu family. Shu shows contempt for Mume's childish attacks, but he doesn't expect them to be able to dodge his red threads. While fighting, Mume sees that Koi is about to crash into a boulder. He abandons the duel and heads to save Koi. Using the power of the pen to use both wind and fire at the same time in the technique Kabu Fun to destroy the boulder. However, Koi still drives her ski boat off the waterfall. Using the last bit of wind that he has, he flies and catches Koi, but they still were about to fall down the waterfall. In danger, Mume can only hold Koi in his arms. Then he realizes that he is floating in the air. Shu's red thread saved him. The next day, Teacher O announces that this is the final exam of the semester. Those who don't pass will not have the opportunity to retake the exam and will be expelled from school. As soon as she said that, she left. This test is definitely problematic, with no examiners here. But then, all of the windows are closed shut. It turns out that the examiner for the final exam is a famous voice actor. His ability is to use his voice to create illusions that fascinate students. 
he is sure that Mume is a C-type student, so he focuses on attacking Mume. But then, the sound waves are suddenly ripped apart. Shu has come to help out Mume. However, tried as he might, Shu is no match for the voice actor. The voice actor then changes his target to Mume. However, his sound waves can't reach him anymore because Mume used a high-level technique called Seihitsu Yojo to create a barrier that blocks the voice actor's sound waves. Mume then retaliates by using a secret technique, Enko Furyu, to attack and defeat the voice actor. Now he just has to copy Koi's test and he will pass the exam. But before Mume could do anything, Teacher O appears and slices out Mume's exam paper, and she announces that the true test has just begun. She snaps her fingers and the ground suddenly shakes. A strange device gradually emerges from the ground. The teacher activates the device and aims it at the moon, causing the moon to deviate from its orbit and move towards the earth. Within just a few hours, humanity will be destroyed. If Mume wants to stop the moon from falling, he must pass this final test. It turns out that Teacher O is an alien from the planet M78. This test is to see whether Earth has grown strong enough. If Mume passes this final test, then mankind will be accepted as the alien's equals. However, if Mume fails, mankind will be deemed unworthy. To create a little bit more motivation for Mume, Haku is captured as a hostage. Although he still doesn't understand what is going on, this simple test shouldn't be difficult for Mume. But he is mistaken. The teacher activates a special kind of barrier that nullifies all of Mume's abilities. After a month of observation, Teacher O knows of Mume's weaknesses. Without cheating, there is no way that Mume can pass the test. Two students suddenly shout out that someone is coming over. The teachers of all previous exams have come to save the earth, but they are all easily defeated by Teacher O. The moon is getting closer and closer to the earth. Time is running out, and Mume is completely desperate. At that moment, Jun's bug cuts the wire supplying the barrier's energy. At the same time, Teacher O also falls into Shu's trap. This is the power of friendship. Mume regains his will and begins to use the full extent of his wind and fire powers. This is the strongest technique of the Sokatsu techniques, Nichirin Shoten. Mume incorporates the two elements of fire and wind into his own body, engulfing himself in the extremely hot flames, causing himself to transform into a burning sun. Mume, in his now godly form, gently waves his hand to destroy the device that's pulling the moon and defeats Teacher O at the same time. He then saves Haku and the exam is over. And so the world is saved. And that's the end of this anime recap. This was quite an interesting anime. The premise is actually based on a Chinese novel, and I think it is a great show. The story has death, yet it has some weird aspects to it. The animation is pretty good, and even though it is categorized as a comedy, it does really well as an action as well. The concept of this anime is really cool, but it's not an anime for newcomers due to some jokes that it has. Still, overall, I would recommend you guys to check it out and tell me what you think in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then hit that like button. And don't forget to Soukatsu Technique that subscribe button for more anime recaps. See you all next time.